Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the new headquarters of the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, BIBF, in Bahrain Bay. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Humaydan, and several other senior officials. His Royal Highness highlighted the important role played by the banking and finance sector in supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed that the inauguration of the new state-of-the-art BIBF headquarters will contribute to the sector's development and benefit both the economy and Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister noted the importance of investing in the Kingdom's workforce by providing quality opportunities and developing educational and training institution capabilities within the financial fin services sector. This will enhance economic performance and efficiency in accordance with the objectives of the Economic Recovery Plan and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness toured the 25,000 square metre building, which can accommodate 1,200 trainees at any given time. The building facilities include an auditorium, smart classrooms, high-tech computer labs and the region's first simulated dealing room. The campus's facilities have been equipped with the latest technologies that, in tandem with updated academic and training programmes, have been developed to satisfy employer skill and experience requirements. His Royal Highness was also briefed on the BIBF's 40-year history, including its 600 programmes and numerous international partnerships, particularly with the London Institute of Banking and Finance, LIBF, with whom three agreements have been signed. These agreements will ensure that a number of the BIBF's programmes and services, in partnership with the LIBF, are provided globally. The Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain and Chairman of the Board of Directors, Rashid Al Maraj, extended his thanks and appreciation on behalf of BIBF's Board of Directors and staff to His Royal Highness for inaugurating the Institute's new headquarters. Al Maraj noted that His Majesty the King's Royal Directives and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's ongoing support is foundational to the BIBF achieving its vision. He asserted that the BIBF's plans and programmes have been developed in accordance with the Economic Recovery Plan 2022-2026, to adding that the BIBF's primary function is to enhance the Kingdom's specialised training credentials through provision of skilled and qualified professionals for the banking and finance sector.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of 2022, transferring a director at the Ministry of Education. According to the edict, the current director of the Licensing and Early Education Follow-up Directorate at the Ministry of Education, Lilwa Agassan Amahana, will be appointed as the Director of Licensing and Follow-up of Private Schools Directorate at the same ministry. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced that imported livestock is to be included in the list of 94 basic commodities exempt from VAT. Following His Royal Highness's directives, imported livestock will be added to the list of basic food products exempt from VAT, which includes fresh and frozen beef, lamb, gold, poultry and fish. The Bahrain Defence Force Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received the Jordanian Parliament Speaker, Abdul Karim Al Dagmi, and his accompanying delegation. The Under Secretary, Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, was present. The Commander-in-Chief praised the deep Bahraini-Jordanian relations that resulted from the keenness of their Majesties, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session, presided over by its Speaker, Fazia Zanal. The meeting discussed and approved the Report of Services Committee on amending some provisions of the Labour Market Regulation Law. It also discussed and approved the Report of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee on a draft law approving Bahrain's accession to the Agreement of Immunities and Privileges of the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation. The Council approved issuing a statement on the occasion of Bahraini Diplomacy Day. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received the Jordanian House of Representatives Speaker, Abdul Karim Al Dagmi, and his accompanying delegation. The second Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ali Zayed, and the Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tarek Al Hassan, and Interior Ministry Under Secretary, Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, attended. The Interior Minister welcomed the guest, healing the brotherly ties between the two countries as a result of the support and care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty the Jordanian monarch Abdullah II bin Al Hussein. He stressed that the strong ties are based on a history of unified destiny. He valued the wisdom and vision of His Majesty the King in overcoming crises and protecting the supreme national interests of Bahrain, including security, stability, growth and prosperity. He also hailed the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in leading the successful efforts of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus. The Minister expressed appreciation for the security cooperation between Bahrain and Jordan to reinforce stability and protect regional security. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council Board of Trustees, Dr Majid al Noemi, chaired the Council's meeting, held remotely, where the Secretary General of the Council and Deputy President of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Dr Rana bin Isa al Doej al Khalifa, delivered a presentation on the memorandum submitted by the General Secretariat and the topics on the agenda that the Council's Consultative Committee had discussed. The Council was briefed in the memorandum regarding initiatives to develop education and training. The Council also discussed the organisational structure of the General Secretariat and decided to submit a recommendation on that regard to the Supreme Council of the Development of Education and Training. A memorandum on amending the text of the 10th article of Decision 4 of 2007 regarding the list of buildings and facilities for higher educational institutions was also discussed. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, met with the State Councillor and Foreign Minister of China, Wang Yi. Wang Yi requested the Minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted the strong historic relations between the two sides, affirming China's keenness to further develop bilateral cooperation in all areas in the benefit of both countries and people. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the President of China and their wishes to the friendly Chinese people of further development and prosperity. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation 
to Wang Yi for the, his invitation, highlighting the development of relations between the two friendly countries. He also stressed the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation to achieve common interests. The two sides discussed bilateral ties and ways to develop them in various fields. They reviewed the opportunities available to develop joint cooperation in economic, commercial, investment and other areas. They also addressed the political and security developments in the region, the challenges facing their countries, in addition to issues of common interest at the regional and international levels. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Ism Khalaf, conducted a field inspection visit to the development and service projects in the Northern Governorate. The implementation of these projects is based on the approval of the Cabinet, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He affirmed that the Ministry exerts greater efforts to secure access to all development and sustainable services in the Kingdom, noting the Government's keenness to continue communication between officials and citizens in their areas through field visits. Khalaf said the work is underway within the Ministry's strategy to implement a number of development and service projects in the Northern Governorate, including the Hamlet Town Walk project in Block 1212. The Minister indicated that in line with the process of preserving the environment, saving energy and reducing the cost of maintenance and operation, as well as environmental awareness, lighting poles operating on renewable solar energy, green spaces and heat and drought resistant plant covers were provided. He noted that the project aims to increase green areas and provide a healthy environment as part of the Ministry's keenness to provide best services to citizens and residents and achieve sustainable development in Bahrain. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed al Ziani, participated in the 8th Consultative Meeting of Arab Ministers concerned with Mineral Resources Affairs, headed by the Saudi Minister of Industry and Mineral Resources, Bandar bin Ibrahim al Karayev, and held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz, held at the King Abdulaziz International Conference Centre. During the meeting, it was announced that the platform for requests and offers of Arab industrial and mining products was launched. Several topics were also discussed, including a review of the activity of the Arab Organisation for Industry, Standardisation and Mining in the Mineral Wealth Sector, and the most important achievements of the organisation in implementing the recommendations of the Arab Ministers. The project of preparing a mining indicative system for Arabic countries was also discussed, and the Arab Initiative for Minerals used in clean energy technologies was reviewed. The Minister of Industry also participated in roundtable meetings as part of the Future Minerals Forum, which is first of its kind that specialised in the mining sector in the countries of the Middle East, Central Asia and Africa. The meeting included presentations and discussions of a number of regional and international topics related to the mining sector and its developments, the contribution of mining projects to the development and sustainability of societies and the development of visions for a sustainable future for the mining sector.